Hi there and welcome back friends to Crusader Kings 3. Currently in a peasant war, because the alternative was just to give up a lot of control. And we're not doing that, so we have to fight a big, big peasant war, while we're currently trying to convert to a new faith in our county. So, let's do that. And we're also at the feast, because it happened when we're celebrating. Now there's lots, nothing like a feast while there's a peasant war going on. It reminds us all of what is good in life. The company is not too bad either. At least those seated close to me seem to think so. You're something special, Jedward, Chieftain Colbjorn tells me. Chieftain, High Chieftain Eskild and High Chieftain Kuka nod their heads in agreement. One more round, anyone? A famous reveler. We lose stress, which is good because so many of our kids and our wife had died, remember? That was terrible. An exposed affair. What? Between our cousin and the spouse of High High Chieftain Eskild of Wisby. Hmm. Barely clothed tumble, my cousin. Chieftain Colbjorn and my acquaintance High Chieftain Koka spill out on the floor in front of everyone. Ah, the drama. <coughs> we lose 39 stress because we're sadistic. This is delicious. We've exposed an affair just because of hobby. Um, so we've sent someone over here already. Now let's see where all the peasant rebel is. Mm, I doubt they have a big chance. Really. We have some of them going over. These guys are like sh going over to the ships. I don't know. And we've got something going on here. Where are they even going? There? Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> They're fleeing from this realm. Yeah, they're, they're all going to the seas. For some reason. Alright. Well, well. Uh, and we have a couple of people going over here. That will go over here. And take on these pretender rebels. Returning home. What a feast! I'll remember the days spent in High Chieftain Eskild's Hall for a long time to come. Now it is time to wash off the traces of merriment and wine. We look really fat now, and once more resume my duties as a lord of the realm. Farewell, my marshal. Yeah, it was a great distraction. Truly a great distraction. And we're swaying our wife, probably because we... I don't know. We had some fun with her at the feast. Right. War here. We have such a disadvantage. What's going on here? Oh, we took, we took their leaders. <laughs> I know when I am defeated. It seems I am left with no choice but to comply with your demands. Okay, Arnbjorn, so be it. So that was the big, big uh, peasant thing going on. Let's increase control again, shall we? Mm, we have our terrible marshal here. Sutherlandland has lost a lot of control, which is not good. But that is really the worst here. So, let's send him over here. Maybe it will make everything a little bit better. Everything is a little bit out of balance right now. We have reformed the faith, and from this reformed faith we'll be we'll become great, hopefully. We're fundamentalists now, though. That is what's the big change. So, counties of other faiths are more likely to join factions, and we have increased danger from heresies when at low fervor. But we can revoke land titles, and we have a county conversion speed of plus 20%, which is phenomenally good. 
that we've done here. We can declare wars. Yeah, we're not interested in, in wars at the moment. We're interested in stabilizing the realm. Oh, the Asatru populists. Yeah, old Asatru populists are targeting us. Yeah, that's why we are interested in stabilizing the realm. We gained obese. Oh, yeah, I, I thought we were looking a little bit chubby here. Severe penalty. Ah. Not great. Uh, let's see. Child benefits from spouse's tutelage. Edla is more likely to receive a good education. Nice. We can make a decision. Let's see. Dana Law. Host fees. Search for a physician. What I would really like to have is like lifestyle decisions. Once you go for a lifestyle, you can make certain decisions in the decisions menu with a certain cooldown and not only like you have to rely on randomness in that case and can imprison high chieftain Charton. Ooh. I mean he's our rival or something right he desires that just about everything hmm he will not succeed. <laughs> he will rise up in rebellion with other disgruntled vessels. Ah, uh, that may not be good. My wife, Queen Oliana, is with child, and I should be overjoyed. However, she's been acting strange, and I cannot shake the feeling that something is wrong. I must be the father, surely. Uh, I'll look into this discreetly. She must tell me. I'll look into this discreetly. I'll find out. Let's find out. We must know. Can't have this going. A sneaking suspicion. You must understand. I never want to hurt you. Tears are streaming down Queen Uliana's face. After a drawn out silence, she finally admits it. High Chieftain Harkon is the true father of my child. Harkon Ulfson of Bergslagen. Uh. Great. Ah. Uh. We could do this. Oh, goodness me. Which goes down the drain. But she's so useful to us. The secret must stay between us. This secret must stay between us because she's too useful for us. Yeah, we're old and we're very rational at this. No, um, even though we're sadistic, we, we always have a hook on her, you know. Siegfried of Munzo would leave the prison and... Yeah, go for it, go for it. We like to have some extra income, even though we're rich. Rich, 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 rich. When will that be coming? 24th of May... 958. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely want this to, to, to happen too. How is the conversions going forward? Asatru, old Asatru. Fresh converts volunteer. Conversion favor in Sodomanland for five years. Very sweet. Led to this windfall. 15 months left. Let's see. It's going forward. Neighboring ruler lost a war. Shifting interests. I was watching Edla play with other children when Sarah tried to push her over. The moment did not last long as Edla soon had made an entirely new game out of it and forgotten the previous game entirely. Uh... Hmm, moving on is the best approach. Fickle? I don't know. Just never let all others others walk all over her. That's something fundamentalist, right? Yeah, she must never let others walk all over her. 
Cause that's a virtue for the new Satro. What the? What in the name of? Do we have? Do we really have a high chieftain of Finland here? And is his? We're controlling him somehow. Our nephew, cousin, and spy master. Hmm. Asatru is gaining a little bit. A murky lineage. My wife, Queen Oleana, clutches her newborn child, Magnus. This would have been a moment of joy had I not known the truth. It's not my child, she holds close, but the spawn of High Chieftain Hawkon. Ah, and. I don't know. Will it point some kind of ward? For the little one? Oh, we can't. Um, oh, do we have no control now? Could this inherit? It costs us a lot. Yeah, that's not good. Seeing he's so far away. No education focus. Yeah, he needs to be a warrior. If that's possible. And... Who needs to educate the child? Maybe that other Magnus. He's... Mm, Oh, and some good warrior, Irva. Here we go. He'll care for the child. We don't want it at our court. Shall become a warrior as usually people have become when going for something like this. We could create a new Norse faith if we want so, but we don't want to do that. Even though everyone, or nearly everyone, would convert with us. Let's see how that goes. We're a devoted servant. We have so, we have so much gold, it's crazy. I mean, it's a great safety. Now, and we're really focusing now on reforming the country. So, let's see. Scholarly circles. Learning per level of devotion plus two. Faith conversion cost minus 75%. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's go for that now, for now. That's pretty good. Learning per level of devotion plus two. Seems great. And now we have 26 learning. <laughs> because we're in many scholarly circles and discussing many of faith and, and interest here. A lot. In eight months we have the Chieftain of Solomon Land converted, hopefully. Let's make this a little quicker. Gained additional taxes. Not that we need them. But hey. Is as it is. Prestige coming. Hmm. We don't really want trouble for the realm, so we're not doing anything. Ulyana now really likes us. But bleeding out, I'm inspecting the barracks infirmary when a severely injured soldier is brought in. He's losing too much blood. Where's the physician? And has nowhere to be found. A chill runs down my spine. I might be the, this man's only hope. Suddenly, as if he stepped out of thin air, 
Lieutenant Trigwell of Kuljavi is at my side. He rolls up his sleeves and looks at me. What about him? Is he a wise man, an astute intellectual? Hand me the tourniquet. Yeah, we could work together. We could save him ourselves. <laughs> we could let him bleed. <laughs> Just and sadistic. Um. We get a strong hook on Tjurmon Finke. A chieftain trigger. The dishonorable villain loses opinion of us. Step back, this is my patient. My patient screams and thrashes, even though three grown men weigh him down every step of the way is a battle. My knowledge does not fail me, and my hands remain steady. I'm not sure how I manage, but in the end it seems like the soldier will live. His comrades pat my back. Decorum lost to relief. Thank you, my lord. We would have lost Chudmund. Without you. I saved a life today. Chudmund Finker. The aspiring blade master. Has joined our court. Very nice. How good we are. How great. We can sway someone else, though, now. Mm, let's see. How about this killed? He kind of likes us a bit. Not good enough. Let's sway him. Hopefully soon. Yeah. It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> we will convert. True. We are known for the dedication to our faith. Great stuff. Let's see. Yeah. Progress toward the paragon of virtue now. Convert faith in county has been finished in Sudaman land. And we now want to go to Gestrick land with her. Faith in county, fabricate claim. No, we want to convert faith here. Three years is okay. Go. We want the new faith that we found it to prosper. And we want that in our core lands first. Very happy that it works that way. Mm. Sway compliments to make my martial high chieftain Eskil more susceptible to my attempt at approaching him can include a compliment in my next missive to his court. Soaring ambition. Uh, I'll keep it short and professional. I will not do that. Will not go crazy for him. Gunhild, our Rick's Godi is hard at work here. Top Leech's faith is a true. Yeah, we're first and foremost responsible for our direct realm. And that's also something because we should really we should really give these holy sites up now. We can grant this to people. Let's see whom we can grant it to. Thorstein of Munzer, our grandson. That would be nice. Yeah, he seems to be a good one. He'll get Brandheim. Here we go. And Sjelland is even better. We'll grant that to Orke, maybe. He's a good diplomat. Or Arnbjorn, he's a good steward. Ulfer, he's good at nothing. Wagen, he's well mixed. Grandsons are lining up here. Our grandson and great-grandson 
at the same time? I don't know. Can we? Can we? Um, opinion of us? Sun vessel and champion, chancellor and vessel, sun. Nephew, cousin. Cousin, great granddaughter and vessel. Hmm. Grandson and vessel. Orc. I mean, Orc is okay. He's also a comely giant. You need to support the comely giants of the north. You'll gain Sjelland. Look at him! He's so tall! <laughs> Compassionate lackey. He's a twin. He was born a twin. Ah. Uh, is that his sister? She's a quick giant. And he already has one, two, three, four, five kids. Some of them giants. Look at that. Our, our giant grandsons. <laughs> oh. Asatru. Will, will we be great? Let's open the dynasty tree too. Well, no. Ah. 130 living members. Mm, that's kind of nice. Let's see where we could go for and what's going on here. Blood. Yeah, we could go for the resilient bloodline. That's our dream. We'll go for that. Coming resilient is, is certainly something we want to do. We're 68 now and in fine health, but we're obese now, which is a problem. Culture has Discover the fascination banners. A new fascination can be selected. Very nice. Let's have a look at our culture. Mm, here we go. Mustering grounds is what we have. Size of men at arms regiments and number of men at arms regiments goes up. Quilted armor. Recruit armored footmen. Could go onagers. Barracks. Uh... Vanus Mots is known to us. Onager is not known. We could go for something civic. That would be good. War elephants, war camels, woods, steel. Longships is what we have. The embarkation cost is much less. City planning. Mm. Crop rotation. Currently being exposed to an innovation boosting its progress. Current exposure, city planning. So that would be good. Crop rotation and the onagers, not really. So let's go for crop rotation. Why not? It's really something very important also. Inviting champions, host a feast, call for a hunt. Yeah. Let's go for that. We're sadistic and a novice hunter. It's a great way to pass the time for us. Here we go. Aaron Deer, my son chieftain Bjorn, went ahead of the group, chasing a bull. I follow close behind and I find him standing above a commoner, tugging an arrow out of the poor woman's chest. Soon as he sees me, he hides the arrow behind his back. It was the bull, father, I swear. Soon enough, the rest of the party will catch up and demand an explanation. Um, mm -hmm. He fought valiantly to save her. I saw it. Uh, no, I think we must cover this up, but... Too bad the boar got you both. <laughs> no, we'll not kill our son. What is that? I mean, we're sadistic, okay, but... I think we're relatively proud of our son. He has done a lot. Mm. 
Mm. Wow, his prestige is so terrible. At least he has some money and piety. Why is that? He's a drunkard, comely drunkard. Bjorn must answer for his crime. Son, we must cover this up. The body is found. Oh, High Chieftain Anlauf exposed his secret. Ah, pushing the luck. I finished reading the latest letter from my Marshal High Chieftain. Eskildon smile. He seems to have warmed to me at last. While this is a success, I'm tempted to use this opportunity to try and get even closer. The High Chieftain's cooker of Wispy. Can we... I don't know. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'll let Gudrun handle this. Yeah, she's better at that. Returning from the wild. The hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses to leave the plains behind. The servants prepare the ball and other game for the journey back. Everything that could go wrong seemed to do so, but there were silver linings to be found. We return home in disappointment. It was still prestigious. And look, the Satru faith spreads. Greetings, my liege. I invite us to a feast in Vasatrus. No, no, I have more ma uh, important matters to attend to. <coughs> and we have toil and hard work. Edla, Edla again. Has been impressed with one of the household champions for a very long time. After finally meeting in person, she's been repeating the warrior's words to herself. Work hard and you can master anything. Yeah, definitely. Indeed, hard work will bring her where she wants. A fearless zealot. Ah, invites us to a feast. No, we're already obese. And we're, we're worried because we learned. We know that it's bad. We're open-minded, though. We'll see how that goes. Let's have a look. Are we still obese? We're still obese. Why is there a heart for this? Yeah, being obese is very, very dangerous for the heart also. So this is kind of... It's a sign. It's definitely a sign. Let's check on everything. How's that going? The Chiefdom of Gestriklandia will be converted in 21 months. Maybe we'll see that. We will be good. He has already had many kids as well. Like he would be next in in line. Let let us see. Really a great steward, and he's also a vassal of us. He's in Newdom. Ah, we gave him Newdom. Nice. He has a wood carving of a castle. <laughs> what a nice guy. Really cool. He has no spouse and no kids for now. But at all, already he has a concubine, at least that. Let's see. Yeah, that's probably good enough. So, uh, what I'll say now, we can look at the faiths. And we can see that Asatru is already getting a few counties. Old Asatru is still very strong. Catholic is dominant. Tengri. Yeah, we are, we are one of the very small fries there, but they're smaller fries. It's all good. And we'll see how we'll do in the future. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon at Happy Gaming.